Welcome to yet another Roll20 tutorial. Some of my tutorials are beginning to become out of date. Of course, this should be expected since Roll20 is in constant flux. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to pick a character sheet, just in case you don't already know where to go for it, and show you how to import monsters, spells, and items into D&D 5th edition shaped character sheet. First, if a game is already created, head towards the game settings option. Scroll down and find a character sheet template that fits your game. While they may not have all the character sheets for every game, they do have a crap ton of them. For those of you playing 5th edition, go ahead and select the 5th edition shaped version 2 character sheet. Next, to avoid any possible complications, select the 5th edition SRD compendium. Then hit save. The reason for using this character sheet over the Roll20 OGL sheet is because you have more options and freedom with it, and it's easier to use. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try the Roll20 character sheet with this tutorial and you be the judge. Next, start the game up and head towards the journal section. Here, just click on add character. To demonstrate the full range that this tutorial will go over, we'll import something with spells, a druid for instance. Go over to the bubble with the letter I in it. This is the compendium. Search for a druid. With the character window up and the character sheet showing, simply click and drag the druid to your sheet. This will auto-populate the character sheet. Go ahead and click the edit button. This button is in the shape of a pencil. This allows you to edit any field manually if you have the need. For most monsters, this drag and drop feature works out quite well. However, because the druid has spells, it hasn't filled them in automatically. It's merely listed them. So, click on the spell section of the sheet. Certain spells aren't listed in the compendium, so you'll have to fill those out manually. Let's type Thunder Wave. Then, click and drag the spell into the sheet where Thunder Wave is listed. Now you have a druid that has the spell Thunder Wave completely filled out. At this point, adding extra weapon attacks by dragging the items onto the action area doesn't quite work. As you can see, when dragging a long sword into the area, it changes the name from Druid to Longsword. This only happens when you have the NPC sheet selected. For a PC, instead, switch to the PC character sheet. You can add an attack by clicking the Add button under Attack and dragging the weapon you'll be attacking with. This feature also works with equipment. Let's take a potion of healing and add it into our inventory. Navigate to the equipment tab and click the add button. Now search for potion of healing and drag it into the slot that you just opened up. Now let's stop editing and see how that functions. Click the pencil at the top or bottom of your sheet and navigate to the core of your character sheet. Here your attacks, equipment, and other features are clickable. Click on the potion of healing. Pretty neat, right? One more additional tip. Using this knowledge, you can create a monsters manual. Simply find an image that represents what creature you're editing and use that as its avatar. Then you simply click and drag the character onto the battle map. Well, I hope someone has found this helpful. If you would like to see any of my other tutorials updated or you want to suggest something for me to cover, please comment down below. That's all for me. Take care, everyone.